Well, good afternoon. What I'm going to be talking about in my presentation is the Pacheco Pass. And Tunnel 1 is our first tunnel, and it's about a one and a half, 1.6 mile long tunnel. This is our preliminary look at what Tunnel 1 um, what will look like. It shows a, a plan view and a, and a 3D representation. As you can see, we, we're in large cut area coming in, into Portal 1 with a large portal area that's going to be required. We're going to need to provide our, our rescue areas, uh, our substation, uh, drainage ponds, get our access road up to these portal areas. The, we're showing a, a twin bore tunnel here. This maybe has an opportunity to be a, a single bore tunnel and bring in your widths and eliminate this large portal cut area. Um, eliminate cross passages. Um, and, and minimize and maybe look at getting rid of these, these double structures that we have, these independent structures we have coming into Portal 1. Possibly look at going onto a single structure into a potential single bore if the contractor sees some validity in, in, in doing that. We're leaving that open, but we're going to clear it for uh, the, the maximum width. We have a lot of existing geotechnical information. So right now we're doing environmental studies, we're doing preliminary engineering, and we're also doing a, a pretty advanced geotechnical investigation program. But we have, we have some good data out there already. Um, they, they built water tunnels uh, coming out of the San Luis Reservoir for water supply into Hollister and into the San Jose area. So we have a, a five mile long uh, Pacheco water tunnel that was built in the formation. And the end of it actually comes right into where our tunnel alignment is. It was a drill and blast, a horseshoe-shaped tunnel um, with high maximum cover, um, built in the late 70s, early 80s. And you can, you can see they, they're having a lot of problems with squeezing ground. And we see a lot of photos where they had to put additional sets in. And they were, they were getting deformation on these, on these sets. They encountered methane gas. So we can probably expect a classification from Cal OSHA of a gassy tunnel, at least for Tunnel 2. And they did about 20 borings uh, right around the depth that we're going to be at. So we have almost like a, a pilot tunnel that's been constructed out there. And this information, when we go to bid, will be, will, will be disclosed in the GBR, geotechnical data. There's also another tunnel that was constructed in the Tunnel 1 area that I showed you, where 152 winds around. And this is the Santa Clara Water Tunnel. And it's about a half mile away from our tunnel. We have borings in that area, uh, about eight borings. They're a little bit shallower than where our tunnel profile is. But it's still very valuable data. So we know a lot about the formations that we're going to uh, be designing and constructing in. We've done four. Uh, actually, NGO, or one of our um, uh, sub-consultants, conducted four investigations out there and so we, we have data from four along public right away and then we're going to expand out into uh, private property that's a little bit more challenging to get on that property challenges with tunnel one uh, relatively short good candidate candidate either way for tbm sem upper ends of, a, of an sem large portal areas um, in in known landslide areas so your excavation going back you're going to be chasing uh, the landslides a little bit um, correct, uh, TBM is feasible, uh, good access to the portals. Uh, we have cross passages at every 100 feet. For Tunnel 2, uh, the length is, is quite long. You're looking at long tunnel drives. Um, we have about 87 cross passages in, in Tunnel 2. Um, two, two different formations. Uh, potential for squeezing ground. We saw that in the Pacheco Water Tunnel. High groundwater head. We're passing through a fault. Or to lead a fall, uh, probably will have a gassy formation, potential serpentine. Um, a correct TBM selection will be important. Access will be challenging. 